Okay, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Bread Wallet, uh, a mobile cryptocurrency wallet. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at it on Android, but it's also available on Apple. So we'll go ahead and search for it, BRD. Uh, this is probably my favorite wallet. It's a trustworthy wallet. It's open source. Um, and, and what I like most about it, super easy to use, super simple to use. So we're going to type in BRD. Here's the Bread Wallet. Um, we're going to install it real quickly. Uh, now, some other good wallets, uh, Electrum, uh, Mycelium, I'm probably saying that one wrong, uh, Koinami, uh, a lot of people are liking Samurai. Uh, I like Bread Wallet, very, very simple. You can buy cryptocurrency right through the wallet. Um, and, you know, if you guys have any comments on wallets you like, problems you see, if, see with any wallets, uh, why you like Bread Wallet, why you don't like Bread Wallet, if there's another wallet you like, go ahead and drop a, uh, a comment below. Uh, everyone's got their own preferences, and don't be scared off by bad reviews uh, as long as you're dealing with, like, one of the reputable, uh, well-known wallets. I mean, if you look through the reviews, somebody's got an issue with every single wallet. I just saw a Reddit post the other day about some guy who, who said his friend lost three Bitcoins uh, through Bread Wallet the other day. Well, the idiot didn't write down his seed phrase, and then either his phone reset itself or he did a factory reset and he lost his money. Now, that's going to happen with any wallet. Um, if you're brand new to cryptocurrency, uh, you know, uh, I'd recommend getting a Trezor or a Ledger. I'll link to those down in the description box below. If you have enough money that you would be upset for longer than a day if you lost it, you probably should get yourself a hardware wallet. It's down near impossible to, uh, to lose your funds or have them stolen uh, off of a Trezor or a Ledger. Um, if you're brand new to cryptocurrency, a lot of people are going to disagree with this advice. But, you know, um, as long as you're dealing with a reputable exchange like Coinbase or Gemini, until you kind of get your feet wet and, and figure out what you're doing, may not be a terrible idea to keep your money on an exchange as long as you have uh, 2FA or two-factor authentication, uh, not with text message or SMS, but with Google Authenticator setup. Um, just because I, I think most people are probably more likely to lose their own cryptocurrency uh, than they are to get it hacked or get it stolen. Uh, a bread wallet like this should be used to keep, uh, you know, spending money in your pocket. You shouldn't keep multiple Bitcoins on here. You shouldn't keep thousands of dollars on here. If you have more than a couple hundred bucks, you definitely want to get a Trezor or Ledger. Again, I'll link to those in the description box below. Uh, and I'll also link to Coinbase. Uh, if you use my link, you'll get $10 in free Bitcoin when you deposit your first hundred. And I'll also link to Binance, which is my favorite uh, uh, altcoin exchange uh, for buying and selling various altcoins. So, uh, here's the bread wallet. We're going to start on this page. Um, and if we had a, a wallet to restore, we would hit restore wallet. We'd type in our, uh, 12 word seed phrase and we could rec recover an old wallet. Uh, in just a second here, I'm going to take you through the process. They're going to give us 12 words to write down. We're going to write down those words. And that's why if we lose our phone, if our phone does a factory reset, that's how we recover it. You're going to want to make sure you save this information in a safe place. Uh, ideally write it down in multiple places. Don't share it with anybody. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to type in get started. Uh, they're going to give us a little intro. Uh, this this wallet does hold uh, a number of different coins. Uh, again, like I said, you can also buy through this wallet. We're going to click browse first. Now here we're going to have to set a pin. Now you're going to want to set something more advanced. Set something that you can remember. And again, keep this in a safe place or multiple safe places. Uh, you never want to use a password this simple. But just for the sake of this video, I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we got to verify it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and we're in. Your paper key is the only way to restore your bread. If your phone is lost, stolen, broken, or upgraded, we will show you a list of words to write down on a piece of paper and keep safe. So uh, we're going to have to put in our pin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, first word, and I'm writing these down. You guys can't see me, but I'm writing them down. Permit. Next word, deputy. Next word, pill. Next word, mushroom. Next word, million. Next word, alpha. Next word, coconut. Next word, pole. Next word, fence. Next word, draw. Next word, spread. 
And the last word is ritual. Now, one thing I like about the bread wallet, a lot of wallets will make you type in all 12 of these words again. Uh, bread wallet, I believe, will only make us uh, put in two. So please unlock your device. Okay, to make sure everything was written down, please enter the following words. So our second word was deputy. And our third word was pill. So we're going to verify that. Again, they're only going to make us do two. A lot of wallets will make you write down everything. We verified that. Uh, so we're in. So we're, as you can see here, if we want, we could enable uh, fingerprint. Uh, I had trouble with that yesterday, so I'm not going to bother with that for now. We got a, a pin code set up. Um, if we wanted to add more wallets, we could add wallets. And here's all the cryptocurrencies that we can add. Uh, a lot of these I don't even know of, haven't even heard of them. I'm sure they got kind of all the major ones, uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, uh, Bat Token, uh, Bancor, um, Dai, Dent. So you can see all they have. Um, if you want to hide wallets, uh, it's pretty easy to... Actually, I think it's in the settings. If, if, if all we want to deal with is Bitcoin, we don't want this clutter up here. Uh, we could hide those as well. If we want to buy, we just click buy. And uh, we would add a payment method, but we could buy Bitcoin. Um, we can buy DAI and we can buy Ethereum. Um, let's see if we wanted to trade. We can trade cryptocurrencies through here as well. Uh, you know, if I'm going to do any trading or buying, you know, I'm going to do it through Coinbase or Gemini or Binance. Uh, so for me, this this is strictly a, a wallet for spending and receiving funds. Um, if we go to the menu, um, okay. So if we go to Manage Wallets. Uh, again, if I don't want all this clutter, I can hide Bitcoin Cash, I can hide Ethereum, and I can hide the Bread Wallet. I could also add new wallets there as well. Um, let's see if we go to Preferences, uh, Display Currency. You know, we can display in USD, Bitcoins, Euros, etc. cetera, uh, Bitcoin Menu. Um, you know, if we, we can enable SegWit. Uh, SegWit enables uh, cheaper transactions. Um, so we've enabled SegWit, so we got cheaper transactions. Um, if we wanted to set up fingerprint authentication, we can do that. If we want to view our private key, we can do that. Um, let's see if we go back. Um, I think we looked at security settings, uh, paper key. We could update our pin. We could enable the fingerprint, um, uh, rewards. Uh, the bread wallet actually has their own, uh, coin and it's a BRD coin. It is traded on Binance and a number of other major exchanges. I wouldn't load up on this one. It's kind of, you know, how every Cryptopia had their own coin. KuCoin had their, KuCoin had their own coin. Uh, Binance has their own coin. I think Binance is really the only like platform coin uh, that's worth investing in. But I believe by trading and buying through here, you do get bread coins. I mean, it's essentially like getting free money. I think you can also uh, trade cheaper. And then the more bread coin you hold, they'll give you little perks like three free Ethereum sends or trades a month, et cetera, little things like that. Um, so you can view the rewards there. But if we go back to kind of the home screen here, again, you saw we got rid of all of the... Uh, all of the extra wallets. So all we have here is our Bitcoin wallet. It's showing the current price of Bitcoin is $8,059.94. And here's what I like is just kind of the simplicity here. If we want to receive, we simply click receive. And if we were at a farmer's market or flea market or street fest, and then we wanted to take payment in Bitcoin, uh, we could either click share and, and text uh, our private key or our, our public uh, receive wallet key. Um, to somebody and then they could paste that into their Bitcoin wallet and send it to us. Also, if somebody had their phone out and they had a Bitcoin wallet on their phone, they could also scan this QR code there as well. And we could also uh, request an amount of money. Uh, as for send, we just click send. Um, and if you wanted to scan somebody else's QR code, you just click scan and it opens up the little scanner there. If uh, somebody uh, emailed or texted you their uh, their address, we could just paste it in. Uh, we click the amount that we want to send. So, you know, $100 worth of Bitcoin. I don't have any money in this wallet at the moment. I've shown you guys all the uh, the seed key. So obviously I'm not going to put any money in here. This is going to be a throwaway. Um, but that's how I would send. Um, and then if we wanted to put a memo, we could put a memo as well. But it doesn't really get much simpler than this, right? Send, receive. That's, that's really all we got there. Um, I don't believe they let us control the uh, the send fee. Uh, but again, this is a great wallet for beginners because it's not over uh, over complicated. Uh, so pretty cool wallet here. Like I said, this is probably my favorite mobile wallet. 
Um, feel free to drop a comment down below. If you, if you like bread, let me know that you like it and, and why you like it. If you don't like it, if you prefer another wallet, uh, drop a comment and let us know about that as well. And again, I'll link in the description box to uh, the Google Play Store uh, where you can download this or you can just search it on your own phone. Uh, I'll link to Coinbase if you guys want to get yourself $10 worth of free Bitcoin. Uh, and also link to Binance, my favorite uh, favorite altcoin exchange to use. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something. For those of you guys who are already into crypto, maybe you just wanted to kind of see uh, what the interface of the bread wallet was before you, you went and downloaded it. So uh, hopefully you found the video helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below and we'll catch you on the next one.